Well, I hope everybody had a really good Christmas and New Year's. I went up to Michigan to the old homestead, uh, hung out with my brother and sister and all my nephews and had a really good time. Came back here working on a couple of small projects, but you know, in the nutshell with this home solar, you know, with the new lithiums I put in here in September, it's been relatively trouble free. You know, it's like a refrigerator. It just keeps working and working and working. You really don't have to do much at all. When I converted from those Trojan flooded, flooded lead acid batteries to these lithiums, this has been freaking great. You know, I got 14.4 kilowatt hours in storage here. And we'll take a little bit look here. One thing I did do was change out my gigabit router or hub switch right up here. I had a five, yeah, five port. Now I've got a seven port up there. And ran into all kinds of problems when I was dinking around with the Wi-Fi router and the modem and learned that you can't go from modem to switch to router. You gotta go from modem to router and then to switch <laughs> because the router assigns the IP addresses and stuff or something. I don't know exactly, but once I figured that out, it was good to go. Uh, then I ran into issues where I had to call Outback Power with the Mate 3 because I thought that was a problem because it wasn't communicating to the outside world, which it was. There was nothing wrong with it <laughs> uh, because I had this thing configured wrong when I replaced the gigabit switch and got on the horn with Mate, uh, Outback Power and was able to update the firmware on this so that was kind of cool it's a really good version of the firmware in here let me show you what it looks like now Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so now I got two bars here it shows you um, what the house is using right here then over here you can see I'm harvesting about 93 amps going down into the battery is about 55% state of charge Running real good. I'll get a full charge today because it's a great sun. It's about 54, 55 degrees here in the garage. I tell you, for the past two winters, dealing with you know colder temperatures and those Trojan flooded lead acid batteries and these things, these batteries, these kilovolt batteries have just been phenomenal, phenomenal. Look at the voltages here. This is charging. They're in balance. 13.5, 13.5, 13 13.5. System voltage, battery temp, fan control. And I had to use one of these Blue Sea Systems volt meters in one of my Amcan builds back here. I'll show you this. This is King Jerry. 160 watts per channel. I am not kidding. Check this out. So I've got a step-up booster running the amplifier at 35 volts. Let's just pop this open and take a look in here. I wasn't going to do a video on this, but if I can do this one-handed, because this thing is on here tight. Oh my god, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Look at that dog there. So I get the little step-up booster right down there. Let's go from 12 to 35 volts. This is that knob sound, 160 watts times two amplifier. This thing is a beast, beast, beast of power. 10 inch sub, which I'm gonna be replacing with a Dayton Audio 10 inch shallow mount sub in here. This thing, just, it's really weird, it has a, it's too hard right here. And what it does is about 1000 hertz, it just makes an awful freaking reflections or something going on here. This doesn't have a, really great full sound. I mean, it's a subwoofer. It's not really meant to go much higher than 1,000 hertz. But it, 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 it plays well, but it just doesn't have that tonality, the smoothness of warmthness. So I'm going to try a different style woofer in this, and hopefully it'll, it'll do good. But I tell you, 160 watts per channel, this thing, this thing will just, blah, 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 and just go nuts. I picked up some of these at Home Depot. I'm use these probably in here when I do some rewiring. 
And I found these little tough little bins here. I'm going to put all my doodads, knickknack, and patty wax in, in here now, instead of a cardboard box, which I had. Um, man, I tell you, I, there's just not much to report. Truck's running good. No issues there. So, again, I hope everybody had a really good Christmas and New Year's and surviving, you know, the winter doldrums. Just got to look at it this way. There's, every day it gets a little bit more sun. So if you're a solar guy like me, you know, every day is a little bit more sunshine. So stay positive and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.